Mr. Omara here. In each of these videos I'm going to do one section of this programming and I'm going to go through and run it and I'm going to make a small alteration. The aim is not for you to copy me, the aim is for you to um, if you get stuck this is a way for you to look at how I got through it successfully um, and you can get to this more quickly than you might be able to get my attention in class. So let's start with the first program Hello World. So I'm going to open up the PDF to page 3 because that's what, um, that's what the Word document told me. If you go back it's on page 3. So on page 3 of the PDF, and this is a very simple line of code, Hello World, I go across to Microsoft Small Basic, and I just paste in that code. Now what I can do here is I can run it by pressing that Run button, or I can hit F5, as you see in brackets there. So I run the code, and in there, as you can see, it says Hello World. I can press any key to continue, and that just basically means the program's finished. So. What I've asked you to do is actually improve the program. So, I'm going to put a comma in here because I was an English teacher for many years and I know that when you're speaking to somebody and using their name, like world, it should be um, a comma. And I would actually say world is probably, um, just saying hello to the world probably doesn't need a capital. So, you are looking round, which I guess the world would, although it's probably strictly speaking the planet. So, I do that. I hit run again and there we go hello comma world you are looking round full stop so my program is finished what I'm going to do is hit the save icon and then I'm going to save it now what I should have done is had a folder here to save it into so if you just follow me you know you actually don't follow me so where are we uh, programming in small basic um, in a folder called hello world and I'm going to save it in there as a little bit of code and I'm also going to call that hello world so I save and that is the end of that task